What's up everybody, this is Chris, otherwise known as Music City Driver, coming at you again with another video. Um, I decided to do another video today because of something that I experienced over the weekend. Um, I'm going to make another video probably a little bit later in the week. I'm going to try to space it out a little bit. I don't want to drop like three videos in one day. Um, actually, right now I'm actually headed home because the weather's going to get pretty bad here, severe weather. <laughs> um, and so I just go ahead and leave early a little bit. One of the benefits of being on a salary job. But anyway, I wanted to do a quick video about something that has had bothered me for a while and then I figured out how it worked and I kind of liked it. And now it's kind of, it changed again over the weekend briefly and now it seems to be like back the way it is. And I wish I had some screenshots. I wish I had had the forethought to take some screenshots of this because this really pissed me off on uh, Saturday night. So, my first ride was a minimum fare ride right off the exit. And the thing that sucked is I had to turn around, go to the next exit, turn around, come back, and it was a minimum fare. That that annoyed me, first of all. I hate it. Every, it seems like every time I get a lift, a lift request, it's behind me. I have no idea why. It's very annoying. But anyway, I wanted to show you guys this. So, I my first ride, as I said, on March the 17th was at 8.50 p.m. And it says, if you notice, driver canceled. So what happened with this is I picked the ride up. I was driving. I went to go drop them off. And, and before that, I actually had a stacked request, a queue request, which what happens on Lyft is different than Uber. Uber will send you a stacked request and it'll pop up in the screen and you have the, you know, you can turn it down or just let it ride past. Lyft doesn't give you that option. They just automatically add it to your queue so that as soon as you drop off, it loads the next destination. Sometimes they're right there, sometimes they're right down the street, etc. But it's, it's, it's almost exactly like Uber's stack trips except for the fact that you can't not accept it. Well, after you accepted it, I did learn after a while that you don't have to take it as long as you're on the current ride that you're still on. So if they add a trip to your queue, you can usually go in there on where you click on to see your trips. Gee, sorry, potholes. Um, where you click to see your trip, and if you scroll up, you'll see the next trip is down there. Um, you can actually hit cancel this trip, and then it'll, the screen will pop up that says, are you sure you want to cancel this? It will not affect your neg negatively affect your acceptance ratings. Um, and then you click yes, and then it'll take it off of there. Well, this time I didn't read it closely enough because nobody ever told me anything was changing. Apparently now if you do it, or at least for that limited amount of time, if you do it, it will actually kick you. Oops, sorry. Had an Uber online on a destination filter. Just to see if I can grab one on the way home. I doubt I'm going to get one now, but um, anyway. So... I didn't pay attention. I hit it and it canceled that ride and it was acting weird. It was like it popped up and it looked like it was on the ride, the cube ride, the next ride, which is really weird. And then when I pulled up to the, it was actually Kroger where I was dropping them, when I pulled up to the door at Kroger, the trip canceled, like the trip I was on. I was going to end it. I hit the X to exit the navigation and I was about to hit end trip and it just disappeared. And I was, at first, my first thought was that she canceled it. Luckily, I didn't say anything because she'd already gotten out, but she seemed like a really nice lady and it didn't seem like she would do something like that, but you never know. So, first, my first thought was, what the hell? So I pulled around, I dropped them off, pulled around into the parking lot, and looked at it, and it said driver canceled. I was like, what? Driver canceled? That doesn't make any sense. As you can see, it was a short ride anyway. It's four four minute ride, like a, it was a minimum fare, $3. But the lady was like, I'm going to be sure to tip you in the app. And I was like, cool, thank you. I appreciate that. You don't have to do it. It's not necessary. But I do appreciate it. So and when it ended like that, I was like, what the hell? So I was like, well, crap, I'll deal with this later. I'm trying to get the night started, trying to get off to a good start. So I let it go. The next ride that I had, um, which was at 1045, as you can see, it also says driver canceled me not realizing what happened the first time because I didn't when it did that before I just I don't think I looked at the screen at all 
when I hit that and I didn't realize that it said it will cancel both trips. This time I hit it and as I was reading it, I had hit the button to cancel it, not thinking that it, something weird would happen. This shows you to be careful and make sure to read every freaking screen, even though I don't know how the hell they expect you to do that while you're driving. But anyway, um, I hit cancel because I didn't want to take that trip because it was probably right down there. It was, I was on, down in Broadway and I was like, what the hell? Um, I'm not going to take this trip because it's probably in a crazy area. It's going to take me forever. They had part of the road blocked off. It was crazy. Yeah, I didn't want to take it. Didn't want to have to deal with it. So I hit the cancel thing and but as I touched it, I was like, damn it, I shouldn't have done that because it said, if you do this, it will cancel this ride and the next ride. And I'm like, why in the hell would you do that? Why would you do that? So it canceled this ride as well. And here's the kicker. This ride was a 25% lift plus ride. It was only a 2.4 mile trip. But as you can see, it was, it lasted 12 minutes because of traffic. It was 2.4 miles and it was 25% prime time. So I finally decided to take a break for a second, called Lyft, I actually had them call me, the call me thing, the call me button or whatever. They called me back. I spoke with a lady and she's like, oh yeah, yeah, that's some kind of a new thing that they're testing out or rolling out or something. But, and I was like, well, don't you think maybe you should kind of give a heads up to drivers so that they know that that's how it works because it's not working the same as it used to where you just hit cancel and it didn't affect anything and just boom it just knocked that little cute trip off of there and you're good to go and she's like yeah yeah I agree we're gonna get that back to him and then later in the night I just decided to test it I wasn't gonna cancel the ride but I looked at it and hit the button it's back to the old way now so I don't know why they were testing that because it's ludicrous it doesn't make sense but anyway the first ride as I said was a minimum fare she recalculated it to three dollars I was fine with that but the second ride, the plus ride, the 25% prime time plus ride, she calculated that and gave me $5.94 or something. And I was like, and even when I was on the phone with her, I said, that doesn't sound right to me. Um, I've been driving, you know, for a year and three months, almost four months. Um, and I know what plus fares look like usually, and that is wrong. It's, it's way too low. And she, like, kind of argued with me a little bit and said, oh, that's the way it calculated. And I was like, I don't think you, I said, you calculated a 25% prime time plus ride. She said, yes, I did put the prime time in there and all that. And I was like, okay. So I didn't have time to argue. It was busy. So today I decided to go ahead and calculate it out. So in Nashville, we get paid $1.80 per mile with plus rides. And we get paid 30 cents per minute on plus rides. Um, and I calculated almost to the penny <laughs> um, because later the girl said, yeah, I don't know what she did. But, but anyway, I calculated the, uh, the base fare is $4, um, then $1.80 a mile at 2.4 miles, and then 12 minutes at 30 cents a mile, it's like $3.60. So the total fare would have been like, what, $4 plus $3.60, it's $7.60, 2.4 times 1.8. Anyway, it was like $14 and some change or something like that. Um, I don't have it written down on my on a piece of paper, but I have it written down in my office because I did it did the math manually. Um, I don't count in obviously their service fee because that's not part of your fare. But so what you do is you add those together, of course, and then you multiply times twenty five percent to get your prime time bonus that you add on top of that. Then you take the twenty five percent off of Lyft for Lyft's cut. So I did that. I did that, and then I came up with like eleven dollars and some change, and I was like. That's like $6 off almost. Like, how did she make that mistake? So the lady uh, called. She put me on hold for a second. She went back and calculated. She said, yes, we do owe you $5.80 something cents. Um, matter of fact, I, like I said, this is the trip that got canceled. But as you can see right now, I actually have, <clears throat> they do it as a bonus is what they do. As you can see, I have $5.68. That's what it was. $5.68 was the difference. So $5.68 off. So the lady was like basically half to my ride. That's why I was kind of really confused because she gave me like uh, $8.94, which was actually $5.94 is how much it would have been. So it almost doubled the ride. So, And what she said the lady did is she did a 25% prime time, but she did it on a regular lift instead of a lift plus. So just a word to the wise, if you get a lift queued request and you don't want to take it, if you go on the screen and decide to go cancel it, and beware, <laughs> don't do it.
uh, if it shows that. Now, you, normally you can do it. Like I said, I've done it before. I'm like, crap, I forgot to put last ride on, you know, or whatever. Where you have to put that last ride feature on, basically like Uber is going offline off after your drop off. Um, and as long as you cancel it before you drop the current ride off, it should take it right off, not count against your cancellation or acceptance ratings, and everything's good to go. But, um, like I said, on these circumstances, they changed it temporarily for whatever reason, and it really screwed me over a couple of times. So I'm definitely going to be watching that from now on. Um, you know, that could have helped, the whole thing could have been solved if they would do like Uber did. I hate to say it, but Lyft needs to take a uh, page out of Uber's book on this particular issue, and they need to put a, a thing up there that shows that there's a stacked request available, and if you want to take it or not. You can either ignore it and let it go by, or you can hit like a no thanks button or something. That would be a great improvement. Um, that way you wouldn't even have to worry about canceling it out. But, just a word of the wise, just uh, something to be aware of if you're out driving and you get one of these cube rides. So, um, that's all I have for this video. Uh, let me know below in the comments if this has ever happened to you or something similar has happened to you before. Uh, just let me know. I'm just kind of curious if other people have run into this before. Um, I felt like a real dumbass after I did the second one like that. I mean, I was like, what the what the hell? I, I, I almost contemplated not driving for Lyft at all. Oh, I, I just remembered actually why I didn't drive for Lyft on Friday, and I was going to make a video about that. I'm going to make the video on that a little bit later this week. Um, it's, it's an interesting case, so it'll be interesting to let you guys know. But anyway, um, that's it for now. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe if you like my content. Um, I would really appreciate it if you would do it. I'm steadily gaining some followers, and thanks to Uber DC for following me, um, or actually uh, subscribing to me. And yeah, I think he gave me a little bit of a boost in my subscription numbers, I believe, because after he uh, subscribed to me, he's got quite a few subscriptions, um, subscribers rather, um, with good reason. His channel is really is really cool to, to watch at times. Um, he does the Tip Jar Tuesday and all that stuff. So just a shout out to him real quick for subscribing to me, and I really appreciate it. Um, but let me know down in the comments, like I said, if you guys have experienced this or, or anything similar to it. And that's it. Uh, peace out. Um, I am close to my exit off the interstate. Um, so I'm going to head on out. I'm not driving tonight. I'm going to stay home, watch the Preds game, and ride out the severe weather we got. So if you guys are out driving, please be safe as usual. And be patient. Work with your passengers. Treat them like a human because they are talk to them and you'll be surprised how much your tips will go up your ratings will go up etc so you guys be good out there make some money